All right, welcome back to the channel that you all know and love. And if you don't know it, you need to get to know it so you can love it just like the rest of the new subscribers. This is a pre-recorded video. I, I am currently gone away from home right now. So I made a bunch of videos, posted them, well scheduled them, had them ready to go for y'all so y'all can still have content to watch while I'm gone. From like the fourth through the seventh or eighth, I will not be streaming. So the daily streams won't be there. I might try to vlog one of these days. I highly doubt it though. I highly doubt it. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Be sure to check out the other videos as well. Why am I doing my outro? Let's go ahead and get into the video. Today we are reacting to public interviews must be stopped. It's a Cameron video. You know, he talks about public interviews i want to see what he has to say his takes on it i personally don't like public interviews it's one of my fears i hope i never get into a public interview if i do i better be under the goddamn influence because if i'm sober i'm not gonna be able to do it i'm not gonna lie these public interviews must be stopped Facts. like i feel like ever since the doors from lockdown opened back up these public interviews have come back in full force i've seen nothing but public interviews on tiktok instagram twitter myspace everything okay. every time i open up a social media platform i always see somebody with a mic walking up to somebody and shoving a mic down somebody's throat it's honestly insane five years ago Public interviews were actually pretty big. You know, it started off pretty innocent with YouTubers like Smooth Geo basically going around his school and asking people trick questions. And then Bro, from I hated there, those videos. It just went to people. Even back then, even back then, I never liked the public interview ones. I hated them because you sent everybody asked the same questions. And a lot of the videos are just ghetto. They just have like no good editing to them. Not to say that like my videos are just top of line edited by uh, Cole Bennett himself, but shit. Freaky questions. I don't know where this like jump came from, where people went from asking trick questions to freaky questions but yeah, it just it. happened and this kiss or slap until the pandemic hit once the pandemic hit you know everyone was inside nobody was really outside and like how are you going to do a public interview inside your crib you know so yeah public interviews really Bro, died down. but like i said jumping out the gym man open back up and everyone's just staring pretty much at back it. outside you know pandemic has been over for a fat minute public interviews are back and bigger than ever and instead of it being in a longer form format there are like public interviews in long form format still but they've gotten pretty popular in a short form format now don't get me wrong there are some pretty funny public interviews there are there. a few like, funny one ones. of my favorites right now are the public interviews where like the guys are kind of mean to the other person but it always ends up being funny here's an example the question is what's one of your biggest achievements you earned in life one of my biggest achievements i would say was i was working in um the manufacturing boring oh, fuck y'all niggas <laughs> <laughs> Like even okay, that, that one was funny. Stuff, that you know, one was funny. That one was literally funny. about to pour his heart out. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty funny. Like that one was good. That was Another good. Another type of interview one. that I like are the ones where it, they'll like go up to somebody and they'll ask if you could give your younger self advice, what would it be? And usually that other person that they're talking to always gives like the biggest wave of motivation ever. And if you were to go back in time and have a conversation with your 20 year old self when you were starting <laughs> from zero, what's the best advice that you would give to your younger self? The best advice I heard was the world becomes a better place when a man plants seeds for the future generations for shade that he will never enjoy like those are pretty good and then you also Jesus have the public Christ. interviews where they're like yo what do you do for a living i feel like everyone's seen one of those videos you know what do you do for a living yeah, that nigga blew up. Bro, doing when I tell shit. you, these public interviews are starting to get out of hand, bro. Tell me why. I'm at the gym the other day, you know, getting mm -hmm. in a quick workout. Quick workout. I know. Treadmill. Ain't no wrong I look with up that. and I see on the TV screen there's this commercial in a public interview format. What is the dumbest thing I've you've seen ever that. wasted money on? I was paying for two Netflix accounts over like three years. That's like fourteen hundred thousand dollars how'd you figure that out they saw fourteen hundred thousand dollars fourteen hundred thousand dollars this bitch said fourteen hundred thousand dollars i get it's an ad but i don't give a damn i don't i don't care i don't care fourteen hundred thousand dollars what are you talking about an app that shows you all the monthly subscriptions you shout have out rocket i got like, that app it helps it does help commercial on with these mr beast edits out of here like bruh that is a paid actor that is not no civilian on the street it's, that you just went up and not. interviewed like bro the acting is literally worse than the acting I on see the that. black and orange I website bro like these people got to get on look yeah. i don't know who created this commercial you know but i'm gonna tell you right now your target audience does not want these fat ass letter edits on a commercial look i'm gonna be real i only TV see that ad on tiktok people you know i don't really see a lot of people or at least a lot of the youth watching tv as much as they used to you know they growing don't. up i used to watch a lot of tv and also youtube but i can only imagine that kids are only really watching youtube tiktok twitch netflix disney plus nowadays and when i imagine somebody watching tv it's usually an older person like a grandma or something yeah Bro, no random grandma is gonna buy rocket money because they seen that they threw some mr beast at 
excited. Yeah, my grandma, my my grandma be watching the news every day though. She be watching that shit every day. I tell her, look, grandma, you gotta get off that shit. They only gonna tell you the shit they want you to hear, man. Crazy. I promise you, not even a toddler yeah. would purchase this if they could. You know those memes of like those undercover police officers trying to fit in? That's kind of <laughs> what this commercial feels like, bro. Like it feels like a terrible attempt to fit in with the youth. It's honestly atrocious. But if you thought that that was bad, bro, it gets even worse because the other day I was actually scrolling through Twitter, you know, getting in my daily scroll and what you I saw doing on Twitter though? pop up, you know, I was like, oh shoot, a public interview. Let me watch it. You know, public interviews are pretty eye catching. Tell me why this was are a public though? interview of a woman asking people to stick their hands in their pants and give her a smell check. Basically touch. their balls and let her sniff it. So I'm here with today. The homie. Rich homie Quan in the building. Y'all know what it is. So my question for you today is This bitch got on 15 fucking belts. Do you see this? She got on 15 belts. And what is she wearing to wear this gotta be blurred out? And I hate, I hate when they use these the phone as the mic. I hate it. It looks so ghetto and raunchy to me. Is could you stick your hands in your pants and let me smell your balls? <laughs> Go ahead, stick it. Stick it in here, smell smell. I want to see how it smell. Because you know, it gets me stinking. Okay, it smell good, y'all. Smell check. It smell good. Like, this ain't a manscaped app. Please, Lord, I hope and pray today for the greater good of my well being, my, my bloodline. Please, Lord. You know, I don't mind if I have a child and they want to do content creation. Please, you know, I ask you to bless them in their endeavors and their future. But Lord, please do not let me have a child and have her go out here asking grown men to stick their hands in their pants so she can smell their balls, Lord. Dad, why are we going around asking people to sniff their balls in public, bro? That is actually wild. And you know what? Actually, since we're asking questions, so gross. why did this man agree to that? Like the fact he that did. this man actually stuck his hand in his pants, you know, rubbed his balls for like maybe a second or so. Now he got his nut hand hands. Out, his crusty little ball hand out and put it up against her nose and she just started sniffing that like a hound bro that is absolutely crazy to me i'm not gonna lie dudes will do anything when the baddies come around oh you said you wanted me to put my hand in my pants so you could sniff my balls anything for you my precious little queen like what are we doing bro what has society even come to dog can we also talk about what is this woman even wearing this woman got on like 37 belts as hey he, he pointed out the same shit skirt don't get me wrong a for creativity but what the f even is that no, it's not it's not hard <laughs> this is also blurred out she got on 15 belts and they all look like they came from city trance i swear to god all them belts look like they came straight from the from the belt racket city trance so you can't really see it but she has like a belt on as a bra which is kind of I, I don't know it's kind of crazy so I she just got straight belts on the nothing but belts in this video or this woman's fit i'm gonna definitely go with the question if i'm being real ask if people to sniff their balls yeah i've seen crazier outfits crazy. another style of public interview that i think is pretty cringe are those obviously fake public interviews like this one right here so how does it feel to have a sister that has an of my friends always ask me if it's pink but i don't really know what they mean by that do you, do you know <sighs> jesus christ click the link in my bio just i can't like this content is edited for a child but this woman's over here trying to promote her only fans which i think is just kind of weird and what you're promoting your only fans with the use of a child granted if the child is your sibling or not you are promoting your only fans with a child present you are a freak ass nigga and you belong below the prison. Why did this woman even have to drag her brother into this? Like, why are you over here asking your little brother if it's pink, bruh? I just know that this man be getting the meanest swirlies when he goes to school, he, all because he of gotta this. be getting picked on. This is actually the girl from the Mr. B Squid Game video. She was 067, and basically, after the Mr. B Squid Game vid, she basically started an OnlyFans. I was running out of ideas. I'm just gonna start no fans. Yeah, she's now over here pimping her little brother for the OnlyFans subs. Like, it's pretty crazy. Oh and if you thought God. that that one was bad, here's another obviously fake public interview that's pretty cringe. X shots are missionary. If you gonna look at me like that, I'm gonna lay you down and I'm gonna eat it. All night. I'm gonna suck it. Mm. And then once you shaking and shit, I'm gonna keep sucking it. I don't care how sensitive it is. I promise. 
I'm really a munch for real. Bro, get this, get this off my screen, bro. Like, come on, I hate when niggas. Ah, God, it makes my skin crawl listening to other niggas talk sexy to each other. I hate it. I hate it. He's the only one that's talking, bro. So it feels like he's talking to me. I don't want him to eat my shit, bro. I know he's not talking to me, but that's what it feel like, bro. I don't like it. I don't like it, man. It feel like the nigga talking to me. I don't like it. I feel harassed. Get this shit off my screen, bro. I'm gonna this skip is the it. Thank most you. Sorry. Cringiest thing I've ever seen. And I brother, hate that. when I tell you, I used to watch huh. Degrassi in high school. Not the old Degrassi, the new Degrassi. And this is more cringe. Where's Degrassi? Than my guy is over here faking the corpse husband voice pack. If you gonna look at me like that, stop. I'm you down and I'm gonna eat it. I like eating shit. shit. Down, I like eating food. My guy is over here trying to shit deepen down. his voice like shit out my shoddy. I'm gonna eat it. Like bro, get on somewhere. My guy I sounds like that. he has morning breath in the afternoon. Like I just know that this man's breath is hot. And why? Why is this man flicking his tongue out back and forth like he's some sort of Pokemon? That was that my is problem. Disgusting. What do people expect when they post something like this? Like, do they expect everyone to go like, "Oh my gosh, they're so freaky"? Oh my gosh, you can just tell it's fake <laughs> because there's no way that this public interview just started with both of them chest to chest, just talking freaky deaky to each other, bro. Yeah, like, what broad is daylight. For the people out there that think like this video this is 126. Real, go try this. Actually, I was gonna say go try this in public, but at the same time, oh. if you do, you might like run off with a sex assault charge or something uh, you, yeah <laughs> do not try this dog do not try this what's funny is there's actually a parody of this where instead of asking back shots or missionary they ask back shots or a good career back shots or a good career i will pass on the back shots i want to focus on myself i strive for a well-organized schedule that balances work and personal life allowing me to focus on my career goals while maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And I don't know why this one is super funny because this man is like flicking his tongue back and forth, yet he's talking about having a well-balanced schedule. <laughs> but since we're talking about public interviews though, I feel like I should bring this up. There's actually this trend going on right now where people will go up in the street and ask women if they'd rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Uh, but a fucking, but a 4,000 pound grizzly bear running at you full speed. <laughs> Coming over there to just maul your face off. Bro, give me the nigga, bro. Give me the nigga, bro. Like, at least, like, as long as the nigga don't try to take my butt, man. As long as the nigga don't try to take my butt. What am I supposed to do with this bear? I'm sitting here with Yogi the bear. Smokey the bear. I'm over here with Bug from goddamn, from open season. We chilling in the woods, just looking stupid as hell like this. What are we supposed to do? Give me the man, at least we can figure something out. I'm with the bear. What I've heard about bears, they don't always attack you, right? Unless you like fuck with them. So maybe a bear. No, <laughs> unless they get hungry. Like, mm, I'm getting a little hungry. You're not feeding me. You're the only food source. Guess who's winning 10 times out of 10? A fully sized grizzly bear. All that, all he gotta do, let that stomach rumble. Let that stomach rumble one good time. You are cooked, shawty. You done. Uh, depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say. You don't even know the man. Definitely a bear. I'm not gonna lie. These answers are pretty baffling. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some creepy, weird dudes out there in the world, you know? Some some creepy, odd dudes. Yes, but, but not all of them are bad. These would never genuinely want to be alone in a forest with a literal bear. Like, you are not Khabib. You are not fending yourself off from that bear. No man is gonna do nearly as much damage as what that bear could possibly exactly, do. Exactly, bro. They're going like, to they rip your face like off. Like they said, would you rather be stuck in a forest with jeffrey dahmer and r kelly or a bear like bro they, yeah, they just, just said a man exactly bro they just said a man i'm thinking like arnold that just got out of accounting right we were gonna be in a forest with freaking genghis khan dog like i don't know i just found the answer y'all think y'all can be really genghis khan in a fight like, i think i could the size of these bears don't get me wrong like bears do i don't feel like genghis khan is that athletic bear, you know when you see a bear you just think of like one giant dog but i promise you bears do damage bears are some of the scariest creatures out there they are one-on-one -on -one with a bear is is an absolute death sentence. I want a bear I as a pet, but, but yeah, I just, just don't like want to die. Sense on public interviews. I don't know. I just felt like talking about public interviews in this video. I thought it would, it would be pretty funny. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, great video. Hell of a video. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut them off. There are some good public interviews. A lot of public interviews are trash because there's the content creator space is so saturated right now. It's really bad. A lot of public interviews. There's a lot of really bad content that's getting pushed out there. A lot of it. Not to say mine's top of the line, but God damn it, it's better than a lot of shit. But I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Be sure to check out all the other videos as well. I won't be streaming until like the 9th or the 8th. So I hope you enjoyed. I don't know. I'm messing this intro up very badly. I'm out. I'm out, though. I'm out. Like and subscribe. Shit.